Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. I am just sitting outside this morning and I've been reading a little bit. I also planned out my day and I made a hot coffee this morning, which I haven't made a hot coffee in so long. I can't even remember the last time I drank a hot coffee, but I was feeling in the fall mood today and I wanted to do a fall day in my life for you guys. So, I started the day with a hot one and it's really good. I used the pumpkin spice nut pods creamer, which I've really been liking. And it was fun doing a like latte with my espresso machine and using like the milk frother on it. So I just made that a little bit ago. I got up this morning at 6 a.m. and I have been trying to get up earlier. The book that I'm reading, if you guys missed the last vlog, is The 5 a.m. Club by Robin Sharma and it's all about getting up early and having a consistent morning routine and it's talking about getting up at 5 a.m. because from 5 to 6 a.m. is your like victory hour. So I am learning all about that but I've been enjoying my reading and like sitting outside it doesn't fully feel like fall to me yet and if I'm being honest it never really feels like fall in Vegas if you are new to my channel I live in Las Vegas but I moved here from Seattle like three years ago and growing up in Seattle one thing I really miss about it is that it feels like the season when it comes like every season has a season and fall there is so beautiful all the leaves change and it's just like really pretty so there is a lot of stuff that I miss about being there and I really want to go back this fall and visit my family but I'm trying to embrace fall here even though yesterday was like 90 degrees outside so if it doesn't look like fall it's because fall doesn't fully come here but that's okay I also have an ice rolling with my new ice roller which I just got this from flip who I'm gonna be talking about a little bit later I don't have time right now but I ordered this ice roller which is the skinny confidentials hot mess ice roller and I already love it it stays cold for so long I've been sitting outside with it and it's still like really cold and I love the fact that it doesn't like melt I have a different ice roller and that one just like starts melting and it makes your face get like a little bit wet so I've been really wanting this one and I am like obsessed with it it's such good quality it's like so heavy and I just love it. I got some other things from her too, which I'll show you guys later. But this is just, oh, it's so good. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I've been up to this morning. But I am going to go to a workout. And the class is at 845. I don't know exactly what time it is right now. I need to go inside and check. But I am going to leave after a little bit to go to my workout. So I'm going to get ready and go there i'm excited to work out this morning and this is like my last workout of the week if you guys missed the last video i was filming a week in my life which was monday to thursday and today is friday Set. I love wearing the Align workout clothes for my classes. For some reason, these are just like my favorite ones to wear. But I really want to get a pair of the black, they're the flare leggings. I think they look so cute and I used to wear those when I was like in middle school and now they're back. So I want to get a pair, but I went onto the website to schedule my class and her class wasn't listed and so I got really worried that it was canceled today and I called and I was like is Jenny's class not happening this morning and she was like no it is so she added me to it but I thought that was kind of weird so 
we're all good i was a little worried i am excited to go this morning and her classes are my favorite i don't know why i still have this tag on here i think with workout classes it's all about finding an instructor that you really like and i just love hers she is so good and i also think it's about like finding a class that you enjoy like the actual workout because when i go to my workout classes i don't even feel like it's a workout it just feels like fun and when i walk into the room i leave everything at the door like what i'm thinking about and i don't even bring my phone into the class and that's something that i've been doing more recently my teacher always talks about how you need to respect your space and to just only come in to do the workout so if you don't need it for working out then don't bring it and so it's been nice to just like not bring my phone and go in there have an hour for myself and it's just like me time and i've been liking it so we're going to the workout and i'm just really happy that it's not canceled this is my fifth workout this week i worked out monday through friday and i feel well not yet but almost i feel really proud of myself and i'm just like feeling so good workouts help my mental health they just give me more energy and yeah i just got home from the workout and i completely forgot to bring my camera so i didn't vlog any of that but i'm gonna make these pumpkin pancakes for breakfast i love the simple mills boxes they have the best ingredients in them and they're also really easy to make you can do pancakes or waffles but i think i'm gonna do pancakes today My kitchen needs to be reorganized so bad. Here we go. I haven't made pancakes in a while, so I'm really excited to eat them for breakfast today. I would add protein powder, but I'm out of all my protein powders. So I need to go buy some. Okay, so I'm just starting with three-fourths a cup of the mix, and then it says one egg. Oh, I got a shell. It's the worst. It says you can do water or milk, but I think that milk would be better just to make it more creamy, so I'm doing almond milk. And I need five tablespoons. Oh, that was probably five. <laughs> One tablespoon of olive oil. I've had this olive oil jar for so long and the label came off of it, which is sad. So I need to glue that back on. And then you do one teaspoon of a vanilla. So I'm just gonna do a splash of this. My brother got me this electric mixer and I love it because it's cordless. I'm just gonna do two pancakes at a time. Look how good these pancakes look, you guys. I added banana on top with some cinnamon and maple syrup. I have other fruit, but I just feel like banana goes the best with pumpkin. I'm gonna see how they taste. Mmm. They are so good. These are gonna be gone in like two seconds. I am already addicted. I'm going to want to make these like every day, honestly. They have a 
pumpkin mix at um, Trader Joe's, but I don't know if that one has dairy in it or not, so I'll have to check the ingredients list. If it doesn't, then I'll try making that one too and like see the difference, but I really like this one, and yeah, they're just so good, but today I need to reorganize in my kitchen. I got a new air fryer if you missed the last vlog, which I love, and it's out on the counter right now, but I want to put it in the cabinet and I have a good cabinet for it, but there's like waters and Costco stuff in it. So I'm going to reorganize that today so I can put the air fryer away when I'm done using it and it doesn't have to like stay out at all times since it's like kind of big and takes up a lot of space. So I need to shower and like get ready, but I'm going to reorganize today. I have a call at 12, so I need to be ready for that. And then I'm also going to go run some errands and pick up some things. I want to go see if I can find some fall stuff. I want to get some candles. Like I could maybe get a throw blanket or like something like that. But in terms of like lots of decor pieces, I like Christmas stuff better. And I don't like spending a lot of money on fall stuff. So I'm going to look for some home decor. But... I don't know if I'll get like a lot. I just wanted to take a minute to thank Flip for sponsoring the video today. I recently started using their app. It's the latest beauty app where you can shop for beauty and wellness products. It's like shopping on Sephora, but the difference is that the reviews are TikTok style videos and the shipping is really fast. It comes like as fast as Amazon. I placed my order and literally got it in two days, but I got the Skinny Confidential Hot Mess Ice Roller, her facial massager, and then also the Ice Queen face oil, and I'm already obsessed with these. I couldn't even believe that Flip carried them. They have so many brands you can shop from. There's like over 500 brands, so they have a lot of stuff that you can buy, and I like the fact that you can buy it right on the app and then also the reviews are so cool because they're from actual people and I feel like I'm someone that is really influenced by reviews when I'm getting something like I want to know people's actual thoughts and with it being in a video form I feel like I can connect to the review a little bit better and just see more so I made a couple of reviews about what I got and I love them. But the app is just really easy to use and when you do join the app, you're joining their beauty rewards program. So as you use the app and do different things like make reviews or shop or whatever, you earn rewards. And once you rack up your rewards, you can get up to 30% off on your purchase. So it's a really cool app and I love it. I definitely would get these while you can save on them because they're just so good and these are going to be part of my morning routine and I'm going to be using them all the time so if you don't already have like an ice roller or whatever you need to order these but you guys can up your beauty game today by joining flip and you can just download the free Flip app or go to flip.shop and save 30% on your first purchase with code BABYHEY. I definitely recommend it and I think you guys will love the things that I got, especially the ice roller. I just got ready really quick. I rinsed off in the shower and then I did a no makeup makeup. I want to wear something on my face because I have that Zoom call. And then I touched up the curls with the air app, but I need to pick something to wear. And I was thinking about what I should wear today, and I have no clue because it's still so hot. But I want to dress like fall because it's like the end of September, and that makes me want to wear fall clothes, but I can't because it's just summer weather. Today it's 86 degrees. And every day for the next 10 days is 95 and above, except for one day it says 91. So that is just so annoying because I can't really dress like fall yet. I think fall just like comes really late here. 
it'll be like much colder in like November but I got this new tee from Brandy when I was in Laguna and it's really cute I haven't worn it yet it has this little baby and bear on it so I might do this today I could wear it with some denim shorts but I'd rather wear pants you guys I just put on some perfume and when I was cleaning out my bathroom last week, I found some sample perfumes in there. And I was like, ooh, I should try this one out today because it's a Hermes one. And I just sprayed it. It's the Terre de Her Hermes. And I think it's cologne <laughs> because it smells like really manly and like woodsy, which that's fine. I mean, I can go with it, but... It was not what I was expecting at all. And like, I kind of smelled it and I, I wasn't really sure, but so I just like sprayed it. And this smells like something Brandon would wear. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know about that. But, oh well. I just got dressed and I really like my outfit today. It's actually cute. Hopefully I don't get too hot. I did the top with the white pants and my clogs and I love it. I think it's a good outfit for today. So we're gonna go run errands now. I was going to like clean my kitchen and reorganize, but I don't really wanna do that right now. I wanna go get a coffee and run a couple of errands and then I can come back. It's only like 12 something cause my call didn't take that long. So, we're gonna do that but I can't believe I just put um cologne on <laughs> I am gonna use this bag today so this is a little outfit just want you guys to see it again because it's so cute and also you guys the Birkenstock clogs I cannot believe how sold out they are like no one can find them anywhere I see people buy them on resale for like double the price and not to say that I hopped on the trend early, but I kind of think that I did because I got these a few months ago. So I'm just so happy that I got a pair before they were like sold out everywhere and you couldn't even get any. Because I love them. I think they are like the best shoes. They're so cute and they go with everything. So yeah, they're my favorite. I really want to try a fall Starbucks drink. The only thing is the pumpkin ones have milk in them and I'm lactose intolerant so I don't drink anything or eat anything with dairy because I just feel like really sick from it. So I'm gonna see if they have a like non-dairy option. Can I get the iced apple crisp oat milk macchiato? Okay, what size? Can I get a grande and can I do only half the pumps of, is it the apple? Okay, is it half the pumps? Anything else today? How many pumps is it total? Is it four? Uh, three for the grande. It's so uh, like one and a half. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that's good. Oh, can I, anything else today? Um, no, that'll be it. All right, so it comes out to 603. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really excited to try this Starbucks drink out. Also the line today is like completely empty. There's no one in line, which is so unlike this Starbucks. Usually it's packed and I'm like already at the window. <laughs> thank, thank you so you, much. You. you said you would mix it for me, but I wanted to show you guys what it looks like um, not mixed and then we can mix it together. But he was super nice. So you can see that there's like the brown sugar syrup at the bottom, or not brown sugar, apple syrup. The drink is pretty good. I will say that it's very sweet. I'm glad I got half the pumps because if I would have gotten the full pumps, I definitely would have hated it i don't ever get coffee with sweetener like this so to me it tastes pretty sugary like it's good but i don't think that i will get it again i don't know i just love my plain half oat half almond milk drink and 
this to me is just like so sugary. It's probably just because I never get coffee with syrups in it, so it's like very overpowering. But if you like sweeteners and stuff in your coffee and you like it to taste like this, then I definitely recommend trying it. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Time for Brandon playing pickleball. I think 8 30 or 9. Oh my god, let me call him right now. I'll be back. Okay, love you bye. <laughs> my brother just called me and said that he wanted to come to Vegas tonight. And I was like, come. And he goes, okay. So he booked it. <laughs> and I'm so excited. Oh my god. And I went to quite a few different stores, but I got a new candle at Anthro and it's really cute, so I wanted to show it to you. I also went to Bath and Body Works, but I don't love their candles as much, so I just bought this one and it's shaped like an acorn, which I thought was super cute. I don't have anything like this, and I also thought that it smelled really good i wanted to get the pumpkin one that they had but i feel like i have a pumpkin one that i bought there last year and i didn't burn it all the way so i need to check in my like home decor bin that is my like holiday stuff and see if i have it because i didn't want to buy another one if i already have one because they're pretty expensive this candle was 36 dollars, so i only bought one but i really liked it because i just thought it was so cute and i loved the detailing in it it just looks like this but yeah i got that and then i went to victoria's secret to see if they had any pajamas but they didn't have anything good so that was kind of a bummer because i wanted a new pajama set and then I also went to Trader Joe's. I saw this salmon recipe that I wanted to make. So I got some stuff for that and then a few other random things. But I got blueberries and these are so big. They're like jumbo ones. Pomegranates. I bought butternut squash. And I just bought a bag of the cut up one which this is more expensive to do and i would recommend just getting an actual butternut squash and cutting it yourself but i have just a hard time cutting up a butternut squash and i get scared because of the whole knife trauma situation so i don't mind buying the cubes and paying more and then i got some cauliflower I bought another bag of frozen mango chunks. And then I got some jasmine rice for when I don't want to actually cook it. A bag of kale. And then I got some quinoa and pumpkin seeds. These ones are the roasted and salted. They also had the raw ones, but I thought that roasted and salted would be good. And then I got a honey crisp apple and everything bagel seasoning a lot of these ingredients are for the salad that i'm gonna make it's like a salmon fall harvest salad so you put the veggies in it and the kale and then the other toppings so i'm gonna make that for dinner tonight it's 3:24 right now so it's not too late in the day i'm gonna start like cleaning and reorganizing and then i will cook later 
5 38 right now and i have gotten a lot of stuff done around here i completely reorganized the kitchen and i made room in the cabinet for the air fryer and then i also decorated a little bit for fall i just wanted to put the few touches of things that i have out and see if there was anything i could think of that i wanted to get and it really helped me to just kind of decorate a little bit and now I know what I would want to buy. So in the kitchen, I reorganized this cabinet, which is like my pantry. It's kind of like the only thing I have for a pantry. And then I cleared out this one so that the air fryer can go right here, which will be so easy to grab when I want to use it. And then for kitchen decor, I just put these towels out and I got these at Target last year, but I really like that they're neutral and still give like that fall touch. And then on the counter, I just have this candle and I put this wood like tray out. Last year, I filled it with pine cones and I want to do that again. I wish I thought of it earlier so that I could have gotten some at Trader Joe's, but I know to buy some. And then for the soaps, I really want to get some fall ones at Target. This one is the Iowa Pine, so if they have the dish soap of it again, I could just get the dish soap and replace the basil. But I do think they have some other fall ones that are like brown, and I'd rather get one that like matches the kitchen a little bit better. And then in my living room, I've had these brown pillows out all summer. I probably should have put them away for spring and summer so that... It would feel like I was adding fall decor, but I put the blanket back out because this was like hidden in a basket. So I just folded this and laid it over. And then I added this little pumpkin that I got from Crate and Barrel. And this is like one of my favorite pieces of home decor that's like simple, but adds like some fall vibes. And then in the guest bathroom, I added these towels. I also got these at Target. And then these little pine cone candles. I haven't ever lit them just because I'm not sure if I want to. But I think that they're super cute and they look good right there. And then I just have the Iowa Pine Scent hand soap as well. So I might get different soap for the kitchen and then put the other Iowa Pine in my bathroom. And then if you guys missed my bathroom organizing video, I got these two jars at Target. And I bought some Epsom salt to put in here with a little metal scoop. And I think this is so nice for just like relaxing evenings. And then that one has a bunch of bath bombs in it from Lush. So that's a little bit of fall decor in here. And then the last thing I wanted to show you guys is this candle, which is the one that they have at Anthro. I ended up finding it and I'm glad that I didn't buy another one today because I still have so much left that I can burn. The only difference is that there is a new lid to it. So it's exactly the same, but um, different top. I just changed into something comfy. I was over the outfit but i'm gonna start making dinner so i got everything out for it i'm gonna do a piece of the wild alaska sockeye salmon and i bought this at costco it's frozen so i'm just gonna stick one piece into the air fryer and then for the veggies i'm doing cauliflower and butternut squash and then i'm gonna do the kale pomegranate seeds, pumpkin seeds. I'm going to do pecans as well. And then I'm also going to cook some of the tricolor quinoa. It's this autumn salmon and squash bowl. And it's supposed to look like this, which I thought looked super good. So I'll link this recipe for you guys. Okay. We got a pickle. 
We're at these pickleball courts. It's 10:30 p.m. On my way home, it's 12 o'clock. Was like, maybe I should check flights. <laughs> Booked it at two. Flew out quick. Flew out at five. And now we're here.